afternoon guys sorry about the late start of this vlog I took Philly to work this morning and then I parked at the store I called an uber to get to Michael's to buy a new Joby or like a stand thingy for my camera and it's awesome let me show you guys this is the perfect view that I actually wanted right here as you guys can see hang on let me readjust this yeah this is the perfect view and the good thing now is that I can literally tell you guys what this stall is about. If you guys came here on the pop-up, you guys will know that this is going to be Australia's, yes, Australia's first sneaker cleaning store. We're not going to just do cleaning, we're going to do full restorations, which should include sole swapping, repaint crack soles, anything that you guys actually want done to the shoe, most likely we'll be able to do it for you, which includes like blacking out ultra boosters and stuff like that. So even if you have Jordans, like Jordan 3s, Jordan 1s, Jordan 2s that are usually prone to cracking, or even fours, usually prone to cracking on the sole, we will be able to repaint that for you and, and even do sole swaps and heel swaps and all that crazy kind of stuff. Whew, I'm so excited to actually get that off my chest right now. Just follow me. As you guys know, I really cannot be putting a lot of pressure on my knee. So on today, I'm literally here just to grab all the stuff that we left from the pop-up shop. I still have my bare bricks just sitting here. These were never for sale. These were just for display purposes only because they're so hard to get already and I spent a decent amount of money on those bare bricks. But I'm gonna update you guys on this store because I can finally, finally just let this all off my chest. So, you guys know, sneaker laundry. That's what it is, we're gonna do a whole bunch of stuff. Number one, we are going to be the very first rejuvenator Australian distributor. So we'll be stocking all them stuff from the sole protectors. So what, if you guys don't know what sole protectors is, it's, it's that contact piece of paper that goes underneath your shoe. But the good thing why we chose rejuvenator is they have group pads. People who do new sole, sole shields or whatever you guys want to call them, sole protectors, they're really slippy, so if it rains and like you walk on tile, it's just full, like dangerous. It is absolutely dangerous for you to have those on whilst you're in, a, like in or on a slippery surface. Therefore, that's the reason why we picked Rejuvenator. We're also gonna have their sneaker shields. The sneaker shields is like, I would call it like a uh, mouth gum that goes in front of your toe, underneath you, inside your shoe, so when you walk, it reduces creasing at the top shoe. A lot of people use them in like Jordan 1s, 2s, 3s. It's more of a Jordan thing rather than a Adidas thing because most of the, the hype beast Adidas shoes are prime net. So it doesn't really matter if you crease them, but it's a big Jordan thing and we're gonna be the first people that you can actually walk into a store and purchase it. At the same level, this is gonna be a lot of talking because I can finally just tell you guys everything, everything. We are going to be stocking our own shoe cleaners. Shoe cleaners, brushes, shoe trees, adjustable shoe trees. So it's none of this IKEA bullshit. We're gonna do some really dope shoe trees, shoe, de like everything. Everything that you can think of about shoe cleaning, we will stock it in our own brand. And that's another reason why this hasn't opened as of yet. But at the same time saying that, we need to do a lot more work in this store. So on the Sunday, let's do actually, let's do it properly. So on the Saturday, we want those lights up there. You guys can tell the differences of color and brightness. We want this really, really bright white light. And the reason why I want this as well is so when I film, it looks really good. I don't want to hold it yourself. Okay. What do I say? It makes me feel really, really nice. Oh, but my hair's not that nice today. What do you want me to say? I'll put on my glasses. So then people will be like, where are your glasses from? And then I'll say. Oh, is it recording now? Yeah. Now? It's been recording the whole time? Oh. Hey guys, welcome to Kim. No, what, what's my YouTube channel? Cut, 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 cut. Cut, cut. 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 I want to personally talk to you guys about something right now. This is like the serious moment of this vlog. So, all the money that I actually made, profited from the pop-up store for you guys coming in, buying like these jumpers, 
buying the bait, buying the Supreme, buying everything that was in the store. What I actually did, right, I didn't pocket any of it. I reinvested it. I reinvested it into this camera that I'm talking into right now. The reason why is I thought about it, I'm like, you know what, I could just make more money out of it. I can stock more clothes, I can buy more babe, I can buy more Supreme rides and that, but you know what, I was like, you guys supported me from day one. Like, I started off with, me and Philly started off with zero subscribers, and now we're at nearly 15,000. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give you guys more content, better content, better quality content. That's the reason for this new Panasonic GH5. I spent every single dollar that I made and reinvested it into you guys. So you guys can receive the best quality, best content, and I'm not gonna have an excuse, because all, all the other times when I did do content pieces and we didn't have a camera, I borrowed it from Jamie. And I was like, you know what? I'm sick of borrowing it from Jamie. I'm gonna do it myself. So it gives me no excuse, and I don't depend on anyone besides myself to create you guys good content and good videos. And I hope you guys appreciate that, because you guys have just been faithful and truthful, truthful to me. So that's the same thing, I wanna keep this like clear as crystal so you guys understand where where all this money is going to where like if you guys spend money I want to like I want you guys to know that I'm reinvesting it into you guys and I don't want to be like you know what I'm just gonna ball out and buy dumb shit and and yeah I hope you guys appreciate that like I, I honestly didn't even have to tell you guys that but I, like I really want to keep this like this like we're family like I need to tell you guys oh my knee I need to take these plants home today. This one's obviously fake, so that's okay, right? But this one is a real one, and look at that. That looks so sad, it's because it's dead. But how's this like so green and vibrant, and that's dead? Do you reckon I should just pull that one out? Do you reckon I could? Nah, maybe I should keep watering it, but it looks really like it's gone. It's a like card and I don't know. I don't know if wood is going to help that right now. I can finally show you guys what I'm working on. So this is the sneaker protector label that I'm making. This is the sneaker cleaner. And this is what our brushes are going to look like. And that is the logo. So the first time you guys are going to see it. Oh my god, isn't that freaking exciting? And I'm what you guys guessed it. So it work. How's it? It's good. How's your day? Good. Oh, my hair is stuck. Are you recording? Yep. I bought you something. What'd you buy me? I bought you, not that you're going to use it for the next like two weeks, some thin socks. Oh, thanks, babe. Because his shoes, he has really, really thick socks. For myself, I bought this because it was like... On sale? $12. Of course. <laughs> and then I got this though. This was on sale too. Like women's wear was all 30% off. I got tracksuit pants. Oh, they're cool. I like yeah. those. Okay, I'm legally parked, so I need to leave. Do you want me to drive? No. Hi, big stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. We're home. Oh. Are you excited? <laughs> Time for a quick afternoon lunch, and guess what we got? Babe, tell them. Tell them what we got. Smoky Dan, of course we got this. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> We just love spaghetti, it's so fucking This much. time I ordered some potatoes well, and I feel like she gave us extra chips. Look how much chips there are. And so, mm, so good. They should know us by like our first name basis. I know. I'm surprised none of them has ever asked our name yet. Like, you should think that's what happens when you go there like three or more times. It looks like you want to say something biggie. No? You just want to be cute? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> this camera is so cute to use because it's so little and like compact. I, I see why people love using this Canon G7X and then compared to my thing, it's like, I'm going to show you guys the new setup. You guys actually haven't seen it yet. Obviously, I can't be able to show you whilst I'm filming on it. 
はい<笑> This is my new setup This is just for you guys The GH5 Lumix Panasonic on this huge ass Joby external mic up top yeah this is why the footage is so good now filming in 4k but then I could crop it down to 10 1080p so you guys can watch it on YouTube because honestly no one watches anything on 4k let's be real there's a sausage sizzle at Moonings but we just ate so no no sausage for our second time I've been denied well, I'm denying them I'm so sad the reason why we went to Bunnings is, sorry, I'm out of breath when I'm walking upstairs, is this right here. A new shower head. The reason why is, let me welcome you guys to our shower. I want to put that on. I've just dummy fitted that. So uh, what I want is it to come out, so it's like that nice, cool shower look. Let's see how I go. I'm not a plumber. And I have no idea what I'm doing. All done. That was actually really simple. Look at it. How cool does it look? That's it. I had to keep that round bit over there because it wasn't sitting flush to the wall. But everything else. All right, this is probably not gonna be the smartest idea. Oh, you guys ready? Wait, oh, I'll just face it down this way. This is a bit strange right now. On a Friday night, I'm at home. I'm not DJing, I'm not going out, I'm not doing anything. But I'm gonna be productive. So, I've, I've been wanting to design this and show you guys for a while now. And this is gonna be the new box logo design. With this koi fish. And this is the actual size. This is the only size that can make it in. So all the detailing, as you guys can see, will work. I'm going to put it on a jumper and see what it looks like. I feel like it's going to be way too big though. You guys let me know in the comments below if you guys think it's too big. Do you know what? I actually do like this. This looks insane on a jumper. Like, if this was embroidered on a patch ready to go on a black jumper or even on a white jumper. Damn, look how much that would stand out. What do you guys reckon? I, I actually really like it. That sizing, I thought it was gonna be horrible, but then at least you can see properly what it's going to be. If it was this size, I was actually thinking about going the same size as the box logo, right? But the box logo is that small and they said they couldn't do the graphics, so it has to be this size. So I just printed it out and whatnot. But right now I'm about to go head off to DJ. I have a really, really early start. I'm playing from eight o'clock and I'm playing till 10 o'clock. I also have to do 10 to 11 for Hal just because he needs to rest up his leg and then I'm gonna be going all the way to Chase. Not all the way, it's literally like a five minute drive. And playing 12.30 till 1.30. Best thing about playing at Chase is that they actually have turntables that works so I can finally use my records. And my records are purple by the way, as you guys should know, that's my favorite color. And I got some of the snacks for my snacks. Yeah, <laughs> good pun right there. Oh my god, that was so lame. <laughs> Any chance that I get, I'm gonna get myself a chart time. Even though it's freezing cold right now, I'm getting one anyway.
finally home from DJing. It's only like 2 o'clock. It's still a lot earlier than usual. But considering I started at 8, it has been a really, really long night. However, it went by a lot faster than I thought. So the first three hours at Isle of R&B was a breeze. I pretty much just played anything I wanted for the first hour and a half just because no one really showed up until about 9-ish. And, uh, and then Chase was really easy. It was only an hour set and it was really, really busy there. It was a lot of people and it was fun as well. But anyways, this will be the end of today's vlog. Give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share this to your friends and family. As always, as we always say, hit the bell button, all of that good stuff. Hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world, day or night. Good night, guys.